Here's the goon. Today's video is focused around a walk we did the other day called the Yaros Archaeology Trail. It is a two hour walk and I'll post a link to it in the description below. There are five or six ancient ruins on this trail, some of which are over 5,000 years old. In this video, I'm going to show you all of them. Here is an old brock dating from around 200 BC to 280, so this building is over 2,000 years old. It is thought to have been a defensive tower, so it would have been a lot larger back in the day. The room that you see is thought to have been a guard cell. Fun fact, the land we're walking over now is the largest expanse of blanket fog in the whole of Europe and covers about 1,500 square miles. It is an area of deep peat dotted with bog pools and is a very important habitat for wildlife as well as climate change mitigation, as peat is largely made up of the remains of plants which are themselves made up of carbon. It locks up large stores of carbon for thousands of years. This carbon would otherwise be released to the atmosphere and contribute to global warming. The flow country is currently being considered as a potential world heritage site on account of its unparalleled blanket bog habitat. So needless to say, this is always a fun environment to walk through. So on top of this hill, there are actually two chambered cairns called the Cairns of Warehouse, dating back around 5,000 years old. 
Just like today, early people mourned and buried their loved ones. However, 5,000 years ago, groups did not bury their dead in individual graves. They buried them in large communal stone tombs like the one in front of you. These vast burial cairns are stunning in their size and complexity. Trudging through a long passage, visitors would enter the main chamber, which was divided into compartments. Here, people and pottery were placed. Highly visible, the cairns would have acted as central points around which social and religious life revolved. You have made it to the top of the Yaros Trail. On your journey here, you will have passed other chambered tombs, and in front of you is another. But this cairn is different. The other ones you have seen are longer, with different burial chambers and horned facades at their end. This one is a round cairn, a solitary tomb. Why is this one different? Is it earlier than the longer ones? Was it used for different groups or individuals? Why were different cairns built so close together? Archaeology tells us that many of these stony mounds were used centuries after they were first built. Many cairns and cave nests were revisited in the Bronze Age, probably by people that lived in hut circles. Here, a person was buried in a stone-lined grave during the early historic period, some 3,500 years after the Neolithic cairn was first built. Clearly, this landscape was important to people for over 3,000 years. For context here, the rocks I was pointed at at the time I thought may have been part of an old structure as they looked like they'd been placed there manually. That's the really cool thing about these kinds of trails, is you never know what you're going to find. Those pile of rocks could have easily been an ancient structure that no one knows about now. For the first 5,000 years of Yara's history, we know more about the dead than the living. We have little evidence for their houses, but we find burials at almost every turn. Chambered cairns like the ones in front of you are the oldest and best examples in northern Scotland. These huge stone mounds covered numerous burial chambers. Entering through small passages, relatives placed their dead in these dark tombs. Intriguingly, often only parts of the body were left behind. Besides the dead were placed pottery, jewellery, and precious stone objects, perhaps offerings for the afterlife. These were communal tombs. Over time, different people returned to these tombs to bury their dead.
Around 5,000 years ago, farmers arrived in the area, clearing the land for their animals and crop. These settlers built monuments that were important to their everyday rituals and beliefs. They also built scores of these monuments, called chambered tombs like the one in front of you. Chambered cairns built over 5,000 years ago were used for burying different members of the community over many centuries. The cairns often had different compartments and dripped by small passages. This is where the remains of the dead were placed. If you guys want to see more of these cairns, I've actually explored a few in previous videos. I can link these in the description for you. Alright, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed another Exploring Scotland video. But yeah, thank you guys. I'm sorry for the two-week wait in videos. I have a couple other videos that I want to get out there soon. And then we're going to do some videos exploring Glasgow. 